The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Listen, God sent me for your sake. I want your heart to be open. There is no reason, no reason. When God wants to help you, he reduces the distance between you and a vessel he has anointed. Are you ready? That one shout, you will shout it just once. And every yoke, every devil, please make sure you bring them out very quickly. Prayer department, help ushers, please. We can't depend on, if you're in prayer department here, you are released, you are anointed to go and help do the work with ushers too. In the name that is above all names, and by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, I decree right now that everyone under the sound of my voice, God, you know how many people came here with with oppressions in their families. You know how many people you sent here by your spirit whose destinies would otherwise not be opened. You know how many people who have been asking for answers in the name of Jesus as your people shout everything that is not of God ordinances curses yokes plagues upon plagues let it give way now at the count of three you're going to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus break break chains break break chains break in the name of Jesus, altars be destroyed, be set on fire, over families, be set on fire, over destinies, be set on fire, over careers, be set on fire. At the shout of Jesus, be set on fire, bring them out. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray the Lord is ministering to me you have applied for jobs there is nowhere you have not gone to you have submitted CVs but sometimes you even go for the first phase of the interview but after that everywhere is shot in the name of Jesus I declare the power stopping you cutting favor from you as I speak right now in the name of Jesus, that power is destroyed now. 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 The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the map and I'm seeing Nasarawa State. There's someone you are from Nasarawa State. The plague of witchcraft has trapped you. Where are you from? Where is this lady from? Nasara State. Stand up. We hail you most high. Please give her the mic. My sister, where are you from? I'm from Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. Yes, I came from Lagos. <laughs> but you are from Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. <laughs> Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. This is what I'm seeing. Yeah. From Nasarawa State. Not necessarily just her. When he says to one, he says to all, Nasarawa State, I'm seeing a mighty deliverance that is about to happen to families connected to Nasarawa State. I want to pray. Anyone who is from that state and has been trapped by witchcraft, that you don't go forward. Horns that have kept you down so that your head is not lifted. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, fire from heaven, let it rest upon you fire from heaven let it rest upon you my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh lord are a shield for me you're my glory Help that lady. You're oh, my glory. My glory. The lifter up of my head. You're oh, my glory. My glory. The lifter up of my head. It's my glory. My glory. The lifter up of my head. You're my glory. The lifter up of my head. You are my glory. The lifter up 
is a police officer a police officer I'm seeing a woman police you are wearing red a police officer you're my glory confirm please verify is she a police officer there should be someone talking to them huh where you know sometimes people see these things and think that you are just not everybody is playing games so let me tell you you listen to me not everybody is playing games there are people who have been forged from the fires of affliction before you vet people i want you to research on their journey with god not everybody is a joker do you understand so I need to say this now because I know that sometimes they think everybody prophesying is just a joker. No, no, no. What, where, when, what's your name? Garros, be true. You're a police officer? Yes, sir. Where? First headquarters. Where's first headquarters? Louis Edith. You're all police officers. My sister. Something is about to happen to you that will make you shed the tears of joy. I don't know you, but you will see the wonder-working power of God. Who is Regina? I'm hearing a name, Regina. Regina. If it's not your name, don't come out here and say, I just came to be blessed. Please, let's be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. If it's not your name, please. You will still receive, but if it's not your name, don't tell lies. We're in the house of God. Madam, is your name Regina? Huh? Come again? You are, okay, you're a police officer. No problem. Come. Regina. I'm hearing Regina. Your name is Regina? Where are you coming from, madam? Je parle français. I speak English. Okay, French. somebody, she needs an interpreter. Where are French people? Please, quickly. Don't worry. Let her be comfortable. PR, please, let's have a French person. She can speak the French and then we'll have someone interpret. Let me be ministering to this one first Well, she can be patient. Your name is Gina. Regina. Yes. My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Everything that would have killed you in August by the power that raised Christ from the dead, these dreams you are having of seeing dead bodies, I stand in the name of Jesus right now. Let the spirit of death help her. I cast that spirit out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. What is your name? Suleiman. Yes, sir. From where? From Ogun State, sir. Come again? Ogun State, sir. You are Suleiman from Ogun State? Yes, sir. Is that where you are from? Yes, sir. Your parents named you Suleiman? Yes, sir. You are from Ogun State? Yes, I was born a Muslim, sir. Oh, you were born a Muslim? Yes, sir. I see. The call of God is upon your life. Are you hearing me? There is a mighty hand of God that is upon your life. It's going to raise you to be a mighty vessel. Go and read Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5 to 12. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 to 12 is a mandate God is giving you. He will train you, but you will become a mighty vessel in his hand. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Police officer, my sister, I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. This lady, what did you say your name is? Huh? Gyros Beatrice. Gyros Beatrice. Where yes, are you from? Sir. Plateau State. You are from Plateau State? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, as Amen. God has revealed to me, what he says to one, he says to all. Everyone interested in climbing that ladder, because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. As God is speaking to her, this officer, I decree and declare, whatever is stopping you from rising, we bury it now. We bury it now. We bury it now. My dear, I release grace upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Find favor with your superiors in the name of Jesus Christ. The officers, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I decree and declare you will not die in service the Lord will preserve you this woman placing her hand on her head I rebuke the spirit of death you I curse it now from you in the name of Jesus Christ I curse it now from you because I'm seeing this woman go somewhere not returning back again hallelujah there is a gentleman here you work in a tech company you work in a tech company all the people who are involved in apps and all of that I want to pray for you because I'm seeing you I, you don't have to come up but I'm seeing a gentleman I'm seeing you leave to the US and God is connecting you with a big tech firm and he will lift you there and because of that I'm seeing you lift your loved ones this is a gentleman you work in a tech firm wherever you are in the name of Jesus the God who reveals is also the God who performs I declare let there be a performance to this prophet let there be a performance to this prophetic word in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a court case over land this is what I'm seeing I can imagine that with the crowds here the probability is high that there's some kind of land thing but there's this is a very huge property and there is a court case over it this is a family property and there is a court case over it and the Lord is telling me to declare mercy so that it will not be taken from that family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree by the power that raised Christ from the dead because you have come here tonight may God show you mercy 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 the Lord is speaking to me are you ready to interpret okay go ahead so let her speak and then tell her to speak and then you interpret let's okay for Parkley McNaught so she's called Regina. Okay. And we are from Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are her husband. Yes. You are most welcome. We are God from bless you. Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are from Congo Brazzaville. Yes. I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pray for you. Okay. What do you do? I work for the World Food Program. I'm the deputy country director. Okay. And I work with um, Pastor Timothy Adeyinka. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see. I'm going to pray for you and your wife, Regina. The month of September is a strange month of breakthrough for both of you. Please go on. Can you tell her? Let her is she hearing me? I need her to believe. Tell her that I said so. You don't have to say it with a mic. It's your wife. So talk to her. In the name of Jesus, for you and for her, the month of September, from September 15th, upwards my god is going to open strange doors for you and i prophesy by the power of the holy spirit you came from congo brazzaville listen my friend you will return back here and you will testify you and your wife you and your wife